to a few moments with us here at Friendship Baptist Church, Gillen, Alabama. Let's begin with a prayer. Our Father in heaven, thank you for another opportunity to share a brief lesson from your word. May this encourage others to discover for themselves the treasures you have for them in their Bibles. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. These few words today focus on God as our Father. That is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Almighty. Jesus tells us how to pray to our Heavenly Father in Luke 11, 2. Jesus said to his disciples and us, When you pray, say, Our Father in heaven, Hallowed or holy be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. As our Father, God provides, teaches, and comforts us. Jesus teaches in Matthew six twenty six. Look at the birds of the air, for they neither plant nor reap nor gather into barns. Yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not of more value than they? And in Matthew 7, uh, 7 through 12, Jesus tells his disciples and us, Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, or look for, and you will find. Knock, and it will be open to you. For everyone who asks receives. And he who seeks, finds. And to him who knocks, it will be opened. Or what man among you who, if his son asks for bread, will give him a stone? Or if he asks for a fish, will give him a snake? If you then, being evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father, who is in heaven, Give good things to those who ask him. Then Jesus admonishes us by saying, Therefore, whatever you want men to do to you, do also to them. For this is the law and the prophets. In other words, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. In Psalm 68, 5 we read, A father of the fatherless, a defender of widows, is God in his holy habitation. And 2 Corinthians 1, 3, the Apostle Paul says, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and God of all comfort. I want to end this uh, with a passage from Luke 15, 11 through 27. The story Jesus told of the lost son. But this time, let's look at the loving father. So joyful that his son that was lost and was found. Luke 15, 11 through 24. And he said, a man had two sons. The younger of them said to his father, Father, give me the share of the estate that falls to me. So he divided his wealth between the two sons. And not many days later, the younger son gathered everything together and went on a journey into a distant country. And there he squandered his estate in loose living. Now when he had spent everything... A severe famine occurred in that country, and he began to be impoverished. So he went and he hired himself out to one of the citizens of that country, and and the man sent him into his fields to feed the swine or pigs. And he would gladly, the young man would have gladly filled his stomach with the pods that the swine were eating, and no one was giving him anything. But when he came to his senses, he said, How many of my father's hired men have more than enough bread, but I am dying here with hunger. 
I will get up and go to my father, and I will say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and in your sight. I'm no longer worthy to be called your son. Make me as one of your hired men. So he got up and came to his father. But while he was still a long way off, his father saw him and felt compassion for him and ran and embraced him and kissed him. And the son said to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and in your sight. I am no longer worthy to be called your son. But the father said to his slaves, Quickly, bring out the best robe and put it on him, and put a ring on his hand and sandals on his feet, and bring the fattened calf and kill it, and let's eat and celebrate. For this son of mine was dead and has come to life again. He was lost and has been found. And they began to celebrate. May our Father richly bless you with this reading of his word. Amen. <clears throat> 